Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui and now we are continuing the video number 21st and where we will be understanding the G-option panes, the four types of G-option panes which we will be continuing to uh, demonstrate here using NetBeans. Now you can see that I am going to just create another new project that is for G-option panes only and we will be using all the methods and we will be covering G-option panes using methods or functions now continuing with that java java applications then choose the project name gopsion paints gopsion paints gopsions and m gopsions m methods gopsions methods Now I have kept the name Gopsion methods, Gopsion pane or Gopsions methods and I am changing the location of the project to browse, click on browse and then select your drive where you want to store this, select computer and then again go to drive D where I kept normally the data which I am using here. Now you can see NetBeans, uh, this is here NetBeans work, ok, open the project now here you can see the NetBeans work G-Option methods now click on finish now this will take you to the code window where we will be writing the code for G-Option panes so keep watching remove the unnecessary code as I have already directed you remove this code all will make you confuse while writing the code actual code which you will be directed to use now remove all that code and now here that's we have given a name class name that is J option pane simply J options methods why I have kept this name so that you can recognize that if I am going to use J option pane directly or if I want to use the method or first of all I would like to just show you the information about the J option panes now you can see that we have four types of methods which we will be using as a G-Option pane and as far as G-Option pane is concerned a G-Option pane represents a dialog box for several purposes you can see the number one display message through the use of the show message dialog method then secondly you have another method which is used to ask for the user's confirmation using the show confirm dialog method and then the third one is the to obtain the user's input using the show input dialog method and then the last one which is the fourth one that is do the combined three above using the show option dialog method so we will be continuing which can say one each of them one by one so keep watching now you can see that I'm going to just call simple j option pane here I'm just going to import java option pane have you seen you have already seen this that I have imported this one and as you know that if I am going to call in the main file that is j option pane dot for the first one which is very simple that is message we are starting with the message that how to display a message using g option pane so click on this you will see that the list will be populated and you can see that g option pane dot show message I am just writing s h o w and m so you can see the types of messages available it will come up with the information set and here you will see that everything which I normally want to use you can just click on any of the options and set the parameters accordingly now this is the null statement that means if you want to display some messages just let the null go as it is and then you have to just put some double quote and you have to enclose your message within the double quotes let's suppose this is the j option message dialog so you will see that this will appear and apart from this message if you want to show the suppose I'm just going to add it later on I am just going to run this and remove these arguments which is used for multiple arguments so null this is the j option message dialog and just I am going to show you the demonstration just running the file by clicking this right click on this run the file this will show you its face to understand what it comes up 
or what it brings for you this is a simple message now I have not written anything it has come up here and the title this is known as title this is known as the information type letters let's suppose it could be a sign of exclamation you are intimating something type of information type of error message it should be in red the pictures can be changed anytime by changing the parameters of the geoption pane now here I am this is the close cross box cross button when you will click on this so this will terminate now click on ok to add further message or information so that the title may appear and the type of information message can be appeared now keep watching you can see that this is here and you can see that this is the G option pane show message dialog null this is G option pane message and now I'm going to just add one more thing here you can see that comma and title message testing message dialog right and then on the other hand I am using the properties of G option pane put comma again and then J option pane dot you will see that again if I just put let's say if I want to show information I am just typing or just inputting character I you will see the list of information regarding I you will see here in, in this pane so I'm going to select this one that is information message double click on this now the information message is added here and now if you run the program again you will see the different message box now testing message I remains constant uh, because by default it reads this and you can see the message if I do not put anything right and depends on how to change the color we will discuss later on so this is the information message or if I change this to error message so you will see that I'm just going to show you the by default what it does it does not change the color by default let's suppose yellow color or blue color or something like that we have to make this change and see the error message dot I have just typed in E and it comes up with the error and error message right just click on this the error message appears now run this run the file as you can see that the color is changed and the icon changed to cross and then you can see that this is the option message dialog now if you want to continue or something like that so we have to put those type of comments here in that and that's it now you can see that the parameters when changed you can see the message also changed so this is the very first message or very first program on G option pane which you will be using it and I hope that you will understand this thing that how to create this method now you can see the whole code here so this is basically about the J option pane now we will be putting all these four or three in a single program where you will see the integrated use of these option panes so I hope you will like this thanks for watching